Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a selection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We have taken over three of them, and this time, just because of all the massive setup that we've been doing, a long time coming, we are finally ready to start working on my petroleum boiler here. You can see that we have three oil wells over here that will all be spitting out crude oil into this area. We're going to pass it up and over using the lava from this minor volcano to come down here, heat up via the wonders of this control mechanism that I have here, and then we're going to get the hot petroleum going back over the crude oil to warm up the crude oil and cool down the petroleum. We're going to dump the petroleum here, we're going to dump the crude oil here, we're going to have a whole bunch of processing. I'm even going to have a little way up and over the top so my duplicates can come in and start dealing with all the stuff around in the back. But we've got, we got stuff that needs to be built here. You can see that I am trying to build a water line coming from my fresh water supplies over here to come down and feed my oil wells. These are things that need to happen. You can see we're also pumping out gases here. This needs to be a vacuum, or rather this area over here needs to be a vacuum before we can start dealing with any of the super hot materials. And of course, we've got people going around tidying up. This is going to take a little time just to get this up and running, but this is the essentially the, the setup that we need. You can see that I have segregated the oil wells from the hot area. That's because these oil wells are going to be spewing out hot. Let's see if this one's doing it. It doesn't unfortunately show us over here, but as you can see, it's building up natural gas at 200 degrees, and eventually this needs to be vented out. So we're going to be leaving these gas pumps here so they can deal with the heat when that happens. I'm hoping that we can get these layers built up, these insulated tiles built up, and then I think we're going to put a small, in fact, let's move this over like this, and then we can build a small access way over the top of everything. I'm even tempted to continue across like so. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that I think is going to work well for us. It's a shame that we're going to have to pump into this little area here. I always do like leaving these if I can. You know what? Let's let's do it. Let's, let's leave it because I can. Something like this. Uh, we got we got space for duplicates here. We can take a, uh, a ladder up and then all the way across. Okay, that, that looks good. That looks very good indeed. We can see the need... Oh, combat, that's fine. We can see the need for my petroleum boiler, the one that we're working on down below here at our old petroleum production site. At the moment, we're picking up crude oil off the bottom of the floor here, putting it into this tank before it goes and gets processed at this oil refinery, where it gets passed up and passed along to the generators. The petroleum that it makes, sorry, is passed up and passed along to these generators. But as you can see, we, uh, we run out of oil quite often. And when we run out of oil, we run out of power. And this is not good. This is not a thing that we can keep up and going. Talking of power, over at this side, I realised that we're going to need to run a heavy watt wire down and towards this area over here. I think this little section over here is going to need to be a small transformer station. We're going to need to take the, 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 the high wattage from the heavy watt wire, break it down into individual systems. Like this, this wire over here, potentially overloaded. So we're going to have to try and do thing, uh, separation of power systems over here. We're going to need to be able to remove the, the, the the, the solidified lava, the, the, the burning hot magma that has come into here, dumped all its heat in the petroleum. It's going to turn into igneous rock, and then we need to remove that. That's going to take some power. Each of these takes 240, that's six, 720-ish uh, watts of power. We, we've got the... Uh, the gas pumps over here and of course the liquid pumps as well all of which need power most of which as i listed them off will need a separate power station so we definitely need to get that underway and to that end I, I'm, I'm gonna take i'm gonna break this wire i'm gonna break this wire right here uh you can see i've put in a little jump so i can take this heavy watt wire and pass it down and into this heavy watt wire join plate it's the only way you can send heavy watt wire through a wall and that's the way we're gonna do it all right beautiful beautiful am i gonna take all of this out i mean all looks like it's ready to go this this water tank though maybe what we want to do is open it up like this maybe not because we've got neutronium on the bottom here let's put a bunch of tiles down here i'm just gonna make igneous rock ones like so and then we can have a little water tank for all of this when when kira gets to it because of course she's going to come along and try and do all this first so uh, okay Another thing that's going on over here right now is people like Maxwell and Franklin are coming along, picking up all the debris off the bottom of the floor, and they're going on a little bit of a journey. It is thankfully just a little bit of a journey uh, to that area over there to dump stuff off. Maxwell, of course, also splitting his uh, attentions from material storage to cooking, same as Franklin is splitting it between material storage and making more petroleum, which I, I suppose we could do with Franklin just 
just kind of watching the petroleum, but the, you know, we, we'll, we'll deal with things as they get dealt with. So whilst encouraging everyone to come along and try and dig out this area as well as possible, I unfortunately let a whole bunch of gases down and through. So what we actually need to do is to prioritise the building of these insulated tiles before these tiles get dug out from on top of them. That's a bit of a shame that we've managed to actually undo uh, a whole bunch. Uh, thankfully it is only milligrams, but we, we've managed to undo a whole bunch of pumping here and that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, to try and counteract this, I'm going to ask someone to come along and build this sedimentary rock tile as quick as possible. I don't know who's going to get onto it. I'm hoping uh, it was either Franklin or Curie. Okay, and now someone can come along and do un do this one underneath. All right, and then I ask for this to be deconstructed at nine. Hopefully, Curie's going to do that as well. All right, beautiful. And now I uh, hope, I really hope, because of the uh, the priority list that we've got set up here, the nines are going to get done before the eights. Let's put them onto sevens just in case. Okay, this is looking much, much better now. Curie digs out the two, runs away, goes find some obsidian because it turns out that I've made all of this out of obsidian. Am I going to have enough obsidian when, when all is said and done? I don't actually know. Obsidian is actually quite a rare resource. We've only got four tons. Though according to this, we've got 112,000 no, let me try again. 1,255 tons. I can't believe I failed at saying a number two times there. <laughs> I suppose I could come along, rip this out, replace it with sedimentary granite, something like that. But hey, the, it's down now, so we're gonna we're gonna be fine. I suppose this is one of the areas where the the lava will be flowing. I think actually what we need to do is to drop this line ooh, down here like this. Yes, indeed. We'll put this on a low priority because, of course, it needs to be built after everything else. So I want to put this on a high priority. We're going to say analyze. I don't know whether we've got anyone to come along and analyze these things. If we do, great. If we don't, shame. Oh, no. Curie, what are you doing? Move over here. Why are you not wait wait no no p4 let's stop you doing those curie please move away i don't i don't want ah it's because someone else was doing the delivery what i've also done down here is put two more ladders in it turns out they couldn't reach from one set of ladders to the other this was uh spacing for digging not spacing for building a dupe can, can reach all of these in between as long as they are just digging if they're trying to build we actually need to get up really close so hopefully curie's going to come along and build this ladder any moment okay beautiful and then we can actually access all of these underneath apart from they're saying they're unreachable at the moment i i kind of disagree but okay okay we've the majority of this roof in place i've also asked for these ladders to get ripped down it turns out no duplicate can even get onto these ladders they need a, a headspace would you believe i mean that that's that's fine uh also means that we can start putting this back up to a regular priority here and hopefully get these uh dug out uh, after getting the roof put in place and then we have a little access way down the back not that we need it right now but it's good to pre prepare for the future could you imagine if i'd let those gases through when we'd already done the entire pump out i mean i, I would have been a very sad person at that point all right here the ladders go beautiful i'd also like to see this all get dug out if at all possible thank you very much curie that's kind of what i'd like to see we've got a little bit of crude oil just kind of kicking around also getting this wall put into place i've asked for someone to come along and analyze the volcano i, I think i actually told you that but uh i don't I don't know whether anyone's even around to do so. Plus, I'm not I'm not uncovering this volcano until the whole route. Like, th this one here maybe needs to come from here. And as this is empty space, let's let's do something like this. That That's not going to work, is it? Let's come up from here. And, and maybe there. Is this our volcano storage? Is this our lava magma storage? That's the word I'm looking for. This could be storage. It comes down here. Yeah, I think, I think this will be good. I am tempted to put down a mesh tile right here uh, I'm not sure whether the magma would actually melt it or not I kind of feel like it might do we can make one out of steel the reason being is when we put that there when the lava falls down lands on here and tries to transfer all its temperature across uh, if it turns into a solid but there's no way for it to turn into a solid tile it can get kicked out to the side now i don't know whether one's good enough or maybe we need two uh, i have gone into a testing world and made sure that actually is still a thing that does happen 
but I've also had great trouble trying to get it to work over, oh let's come up here, over on this side, that's why I got this auto sweeper, auto miner combo on the go, wonder why it's not, because there's not, uh, because it's not cool enough yet, uh, when, it, when it cools down this auto miner will mine that out and this auto sweeper will then pick up the igneous rock, put it into here, conveyor loader goes round, cools everything down, it's a great system, we should probably do something very similar over here. How do I get in and out of here without destroying? I don't, and I'm not sure that I do need to get in and out of the uh, of the volcano area. I think I just need to pump it dry and then clear it all out. Pump it dry, clear it all out, analyze the volcano, seal it up, and never worry about it again. Is that is that the situation we're going for? I sure do hope so, because that's the one I'm actually going to end up doing. So I've been planning out the route for all the liquids here, and I think I need to discuss what is going on with you guys. So as you can see, we're going to pump all of the water coming through this line into our oil wells. They spit out crude oil on the floor, and all of it collects down and by this liquid pump here. We then pick it up and pass it through first insulated, tile, uh, insulated pipes. But more importantly, once we get to this side, the hot side, if you will, of the environment, we're going to move over to radiant pipes so that the comparatively cool crude oil can be exchanging temperatures with what's coming back and I'll explain that in a moment. So we go up and we go back and forth uh, and we drop ourselves down in a, in a really big column here. Um, it, it's maybe a little too big but that's that's kind of the problem. Uh, so it comes down, we've got a whole bunch of crude oil, the heat transfers across and the petroleum which actually is less dense than the crude. If we got a bunch of petroleum and put it on top of crude, the petroleum would float to the top. That means when this little column is full, the petroleum is just going to bubble its way on up and then spill out over the side here and this is where the uh, the temperature exchange happens as I say the cool uh, cool crude oil is being pulled up in this direction the hot petroleum is flowing in this direction and they, they're exchanging hot cold hopefully everything's cooled by the time it gets down here and we can use just a regular steel pump to pick up the liquids and not melt the pump because everything over here would melt any pump that we use the problem comes in the size of this big column that we've got over here. It, it's it's just so much. The, the problem I've got is the oil well. It is totally in the right. If this wasn't here, we like maybe it was over here, we could only come up to here and then zigzag back and forth. But I need to have this huge space here left for the oil well. Because we need duplicates to be able to come through and... Um, let let the steam vent out uh, and there's no it's no good having a dip down here because then we need to wait for it to build back up and go over and I, I don't I only want to wait for one place to fill up and that's definitely this area here and honestly I don't even want to wait that long for this I've already been having to wait for this uh, polluted oxygen thankfully all the carbon dioxide that we let in through the roof has, has stopped being uh, a problem and we started to vent that all out not really dealing with the water let's let's deal with the water first before everything else becomes a problem and we'll let the gases just kind of vent out. Whilst the crew goes through and makes us a big tank for all our water I would like to thank the big tank for all of my inspiration that's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of the guys and girls that have taken the time out of their day and the monies out of their wallet to go along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and make a monthly monetary donation to make sure me and my channel can carry on into the future, hopefully as comfortably as possible. This episode in particular has taken me quite some time to put together and trying to justify that in my current studying lifestyle is quite difficult. Thankfully, you guys come along and make this a valid choice. So from the very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. So we're finally getting down to the low micrograms. If I hover in between a couple of pumps, we're down even into... Oh, maybe this is micrograms and this is milligrams. I can never remember, which is terrible. That is one of the things they try to teach me at university. But I have also run into maybe another problem, maybe not. I could not have this liquid vent down here. My, my idea was to drop it down into this pit. But of course, we're waiting for the petroleum to spill up and over this way. Uh, so I need to be able to drop it above the petroleum else it will get flooded over and it won't be able to drop any of the crude oil so I'm going to pop it up here for now I'm not sure if I need to move these over one and I don't know how to test it so I'm just gonna trust for now 
I'm going to set up an airlock on this side, maybe one over this side as well. So if things do go wrong, if things do go wrong, which they probably will, and not the ways that we think they're going to go wrong right now, but when they do go wrong, we can get in there and try to fix stuff. I'm not sure how we're going to get into the main heat exchange area. I could definitely put a door up here. Maybe not here because this is where I want to put another liquid lock just to be sure. But we could probably put a door here and the magma won't melt it i'll make it out of steel um but where like do i put one here it might be the best place but of course the petroleum will be filling up though we do have quite the large tank for petroleum so and if it fills up back here i'll have a little switch that can come along with it ah, ah, ah. i was like hmm, we don't actually need <laughs> oh yeah i should tell you about this I, I i remembered about this um so i was putting this down to uh to to be able to keep the heat away of when the petroleum is warm enough. Got a little thermo sensor here. If I press Shift F2, you can see it go through. I was going to have a weird timing mechanism that when this goes red, they would all close down, and then this one would open back up again shortly afterwards. But that you only need that if you're working with gases. So now I've just got a triple safe door. That's great. I'm, I'm down for triple safe. Uh, but it turns out actually what I want to have is an AND gate in there, or uh, an OR gate. How do we make sure that the knot is a knot signal? Anyway, I can figure that out. Uh, and if this is filled up to this this tile over here, we shut it down because if it starts flooding back who well, I think I think I don't know that will be problems but I think that might be problems one of these hydro sensors is probably there not a lead one that would be terrible more, more still yes I am getting through an awful lot of steel and tungsten at the moment. I don't know what the actual melt... Let's put down some tungsten wire here and have a look. Uh, over here, the melting point is 3,000, so we should be all right using tungsten for wiring here, and then uh, we can come out of here. Okay, that's great, and then let's, let's, let's figure out what would be the best gates here. I mean, it, it's obviously just an AND gate. Okay, we're gonna throw that one down there. We're going to break this open. That was just a little too wide, but that's okay. We can work on that. Why am I getting the door? Ah, this is something that I noticed earlier with the, uh, the all the sweeping I've got going on down there. If you're too close to the little notification underneath, you will uh, select that door instead. When actually, I want the automation wire. Thank you very much. And this should now be set up. I've got, I've got to obviously set the actual sensors up in the right order and in the right manners, but this should now control these doors. If things get too hot or if we're filling up with too much petroleum, the doors will open and stop the whole heat exchange. Now I need to know whether this solidification chamber is going to work and push all of the uh, all of the debris out of the side. That would be very helpful if it did. I've got I've got ways of doing it if that doesn't work. Again, I don't know how to test it live though. But not knowing how has never stopped me in the past, so I'm just going to forge on regardless. I was kind of hoping that all of that chatter would have got us to the point where we can start seeing some vacuum spread, but I don't think that's going to happen, if I'm honest with you. The numbers are small, but this is a big space and there's only four pumps. So I put in another pump, by the way. I felt like we needed to start moving stuff from this side. No, what are you doing letting gases in? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right, stop. Uh, let's now, oh, I can see what's happened here. You should be okay now. You should be okay. Looking at the way that the priorities are set up, I'd rather get this wall in place than not. But, oh, man, that that could have been... I mean, that is pretty bad. Thankfully, it's only milligrams. But, oh, man, that has, that has just undone a lot of work. Maybe I want to put some more pumps in here. <laughs> okay, we've got to watch and see what Curie does next. All right, good, good. She's off to go and get, yes, the materials for this tile. I mean, I suppose that wouldn't have actually spread over, but... Oh, Got to, I've got to be able to keep an eye out. It's, it, I don't want her going through here. Let, let's do that. I do want this tile in place, though, uh, so that she can't break the seal that's going on here. And then we get a little li liquid lock set up, and then we break the seal and take out the gases that are in here. Ideally, we get the liquid lock set up before we dig this lot out. Let's, let's make that true as well. So we drop down a bunch of, of liquids here, make a, a, a gas lock in the same way that we've got this little area set up. If we look at the gases, you can see there is none in the middle here because the liquids are blocking everything. What are you, little, little little blue square? I see you there. You're a water. Let's let's get rid of you. You, sh you shouldn't really be there, and I don't even know how you got there. However long this takes to build, 
making all of the uh, picking up all of these materials is gonna be longer. Also, why is Curie not working on all of this? Why is she going around? Let's have a look and see. Uh, because nines are bigger than fives. I mean, okay, we'll, we'll we'll let this roll for now. Constantly trying to think about where they're going to build themselves in. Like, I don't I don't want Curie trapping herself uh, maybe we'll put down let's, let's put a full ladder down here uh, make sure that there is ways in and out of all of these areas because not only do I need to build this as I say think things can go wrong and uh, I want to be able to get in there <laughs> wait wait a minute obsidian 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 these are all good but down here is this magma gonna melt my igneous rock i think it might do i, I might want to replace these ah oh, i cannot replace that one okay we're gonna deconstruct this we're gonna think hard about how to do this all right step one break the ladder step two put a tile in its place so that we can get set up a little uh, air gap here and not have to worry what's this igneous rock that's good i do happen to know there's a bunch of igneous rock around here why are you not working on it curie why maxwell okay i mean where are you at okay tile has been made now can we replace this one let's see if curie's got a plank's gonna come get it that's that's fine i don't care who as long as someone Okay, get this. No, no, you're not actually going to build it. You're just making deliveries. Ruben is going to come all the way from the other end of the base. Okay, good. Good work, I suppose. Okay, despite you saying Ruben, all the way up to Max coming up here, making a deposit of obsidian in this tile, and then deciding to make this tile also obsidian? Uh, carried on saying that, but that's fine. All right, that's... That is, of course, wonderful because now if I press F4, there's no way for the gases to get through. I can deconstruct this tile again and we are back on track. Oh, are we, though? Oh, are we? There's a, there's a, there's igneous rock oh, look, all the way up here and I bet that means these ones are also, yeah, igneous rock, igneous rock. Yeah, get them out of here. At the same time, don't, don't build these yet. Th these are allowing the gases to pass through. Because we're, try we're trying to pull a vacuum here, despite the fact that I really messed up. So interestingly, before the breach, I was watching this countdown quite steadily. It had a, had a real like rhythmic pace to it. But now, oh, it's it's all everywhere. I mean, it's, it's jumping up and down. I kind of expect a little bit of noise, but it really was just going like up and down crazy for a while. I think the other gases around kind of contribute to that. I've also noticed these gases sit, sitting down low. At some point, they're going to start exploding out. They're only at micrograms themselves, though. So once these have dropped down to like four or five milligrams, I should imagine this will start expanding out and then we'll have a whole bunch of different gases to deal with. But uh, all's going well. Constriction is starting to slow down the pace, I think. This is not made out of obsidian either. Wow, I keep finding new stuff that is not made out of obsidian. Was that the last time I said it? That was. It's okay. I have more to dig. I think I'll take from here in particular. I was wondering when I started setting this up if I'd run out of obsidian. It is quite a uh, restricted resource. How has that polluted ox the polluted water got there? Ah, it was when I was uh, putting the heavy watt join plate in place, right? I mean, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't have any germs in it. So all I need to do, in fact, is just go, could you mop this, please? And someone will be along to take care of that at some point, I am sure. But there we go, Curie is digging, so I'm going to grab this and just kind of fill that all the way up. I think I can do them all without too much worry, uh, as long as we do this one first. Because of course she could take this one out and then immediately take the one below out. I, I don't want that to happen. We've we got to make sure the gap stays, uh, stays filled. Okay, here goes the replacement. Let's watch the gases. Yeah, no, nothing to worry about. And from here on out, it's all internal. Great. Are oh, my igneous rock ladders going to melt in the petroleum? No, if the petroleum goes over 400 degrees, we're going to have trouble. So I can use whatever materials I like on this side. Just here, in this section here, there will be magma. So I need to make sure it's unmeltable, which uh, at a melting point of 2,700, I do believe obsidian counts. I'm hoping that the, uh, the the steel here is also at 2,000... Well, this is 2,400 as opposed to 2,007. We'll, we'll, we'll see about the steel. There's not much I could do other than steel, so we'll just, just hope, right? 
I just don't trust it. I just don't feel like I've got it right. That I, I know I need to kind of like drip it into the tiles to make it work. And that's not really how we are doing this here. So I think what I'm going to do instead, let's uh, see if I can find the materials at the building I'm looking for. Oh, did you see it there? I, I'm sure there's a place somewhere where I can get both. So if I put down a small... Uh, a small platform yeah we can maybe do it like this no i'm gonna play around with this find out the best place to put down the auto miner that can do both oh ah, no it won't take that one either they can do both of these gaps here because at some point there is definitely gonna be um frozen magma in here otherwise known as igneous rock and that's that's going to be the thing that does us in let's uh, do that it will just freeze everything up and that's not great now the next thing is to get an auto sweeper in to pick up anything that's on that tile and i've got a feeling we're going to have to move the ladder that's kind of okay i wanted to move the ladder over to this side anyway because the uh, the liquid lock kind of needs one of those it doesn't really but to make it work better it needs one of those and then i need that means i need to put the door in somewhere over here if i put like an actual door oh look fossil lovely um it doesn't really matter what i make it out of as maybe not uranium though we found out it's not very uh, temperature tolerant a little while ago not that i'm expecting any temperature issues with this place but um you know we are dealing with magma something's gonna happen how has the value in the middle here gone up? Like, a lot. I don't think I've got any polluted water. Ah, there is polluted hot dirt, though. What is going on with this? Okay, I'm going to have to set up a storage bin. I mean, we could set up a automatic dispenser, but no, I'm going to set up the storage bin because there's a little ledge for it, and that's literally the only reason why. I suppose I could actually... Uh, put this, oh, hit the wrong button, put this over here uh, and then put the storage bin on top and I can keep all the polluted dirt there. That's that's what I'm trying to do. I need to get it out of here because it's, it's, it's making my life horrible, terrible. I can't stand it. Such tiny amounts as well, such tiny amounts. What What, what is this one? Polluted dirt, 2.35 kilos or, or grams, I don't know. Let's, let's click it and find out. It is kilos, okay. Organic polluted dirt. Can everyone please move that stuff over here? Starting with Plank. He'll get on it very shortly by the looks of it. What even was there that turned into polluted dirt? Or were there actually just little patches of polluted dirt? That could, that could have happened. I don't think so though. I think maybe some meat has rotted or something like that. If anybody saw what happened, let me know. Okay, now that I've dealt with the polluted oxygen, we are down to micrograms again. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. We've got six in here. There is a small issue. Uh, not only do we have carbon dioxide caught in the uh, in the wells of everywhere, uh, but also this this little restricted space here is uh, definitely got a raised pressure. Um, I'm going to say gradient. It's not what I mean. Uh, raised pressure area here. Um, so we. Uh, that's that's going to take longer to, to disappear, I should imagine. I mean, look at this. We're down into the thousands now. That's even better. Okay, the lowest pressure we have is down the bottom here. About 700, 800 micrograms. We've got a thousand almost everywhere else. Okay, that's, that's nice. Uh, 8,000 here? Okay. Oh, 11,000 here. That's, that's even more. But mostly this is going really well. Going really well. Okay, as the pressure got lower, we can see these little pockets of gas are starting to expand out and get dragged towards the various pumps. This is good. These are all good signs. I was kind of hoping we'd start to see some vacuum spread, maybe get, come start pulling down this way, but still the gas pressure is just a little bit too high. There's too, still too much to go around. To give us an idea, we got we got 500 micrograms in the middle here. 3,000. I was expecting to see milligrams. That's 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 nice actually. That's that's very good. 
I sure do hope you're here for the dissection of how this place pulls a vacuum, because I find this will actually be one of the most interesting parts of the game. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the full process because this has literally taken me about an hour so far, much longer for the whole process, just this little section of pumping this area out now since the breach, well, since a little way after the breach, in fact. 100 micrograms, we're getting down to 30 over here. We've got 700. This is cool. I, I, I would like to see single digits somewhere but I think we're still a little way off of that. I think the first place we're going to see it is somewhere around here. Ooh, ooh, did, did you see that little pocket of vacuum open up? I, I saw what there, there it goes again. This is the carbon dioxide destroying itself as it tries to split into two packets and it has um, not enough to split into the two, so one of them ends up being vacuum. Uh, at least that's what I've observed. I, I, I can't... I, I don't know if that's the actual, like, as written in the game code, but that's that's definitely how I feel like the behaviour happens. And, and as we all know, the observer's feelings are central to any scientific observation. Oh, the carbon dioxide has started to actually spill out and over the top. The pressure must have dropped down low enough that it's uh, thousands of micrograms was enough to top out over. That, that's great. It's going to flow through the tiny gap that we've got just here and fall over down towards this gas pump at the bottom. The gases are being passed up and across. There's, there's a whole mess, but a tiny, tiny little blobs being handed up here to the gas filter. Uh, I've done my best to try and stack stuff up, but it's, it's it's just such tiny blobs that there's not a great deal you can do with it. Looking back at the gas overlay, I mean, we're doing okay. 40 micrograms is going down, but it's not going down that fast. Oh, we're starting to get the spread of vacuum down here, just as I thought it might happen. Uh, this is because the carbon dioxide is actually stopping the polluted oxygen flowing down. And then over here, let's uh, get rid of this screenshot mode. Yeah, we've got such small amounts that when it tries to split out, it becomes tiny again. Again, though, this polluted oxygen should be able to join up. And, and as you see, it makes a whole line across. Over here, we're down at the 20s. I don't think we're going to drop down uh, to nothing immediately. But the, the, I knew this would be the place where, it's, uh, where the vacuum appeared first. So that, that's really cool. Even with the gas pumps being out of power overnight, the uh, the vacuum is still forming itself down here. I think we're at the point where the carbon dioxide at least is going to be able to consume itself. This uh, polluted oxygen can't flow through this little constricted gap fast enough to be able to fill up this vacuum because the pressure just is not high enough. You might be wondering what these yellow alerts are, by the way. Over on Blagolia, we've got a bit of a hydrogen problem. Uh, so I'm asking people to put up a hydrogen detector a gas pump and then a whole hydrogen burning system over here. Uh, gonna take a little while because not everybody likes to dig and also there's a lot of hydrogen so they need to stop and breathe every now and then. It's not really worries to, it's not really anything to worry about. We're just gonna sit here and watch the vacuum spread. The vacuum has nearly left its little enclosure here. That's really, really cool. Okay, we've got like six micrograms out here. And of course, every time it tries to spread in here, yeah, two, three, uh, it seems to be how we are losing gas mass here. This is pretty good. Okay, hopefully this will just continue on. I'm, I'm noticing there's a lot of carbon dioxide in these little valleys and pits here. And indeed, there's a lot of polluted oxygen up here. I'm wondering whether it would be smart to rip this tile down at the same time will that be smart or will that just cause us more troubles oh yes this is what we're talking about look at this other packet of uh, pocket sorry of vacuum open up here packet pocket can we talk about packets of vacuum is that a thing i presume so look here here it is there is a packet and they, these two packets have merged so yes i'm going to continue on with that we're going to try and carry on pulling out the carbon dioxide i feel like that's one of the main problems right now of course the fact that we've got walls here is also causing us some troubles but there are ways for the gases to flow thankfully this this guy's just given up he's like no no vac vacuum is here i can't do anything about it i do want wonder if when the power goes out tonight, as is the way recently, uh, whether, excuse me, whether we are going to actually watch the gases spread back out or whether they'll destroy themselves. Well, how did, wait, how did this oxygen get in here? Has this oxygen just been hiding somewhere? Have we, I, I don't understand. I, I really do not understand. What, what is this? 
I actually don't see how it how it got in here. I, I really don't. I don't think any of these tiles have just been upgraded or anything like that. I, yeah, I just... This, this seems to have just appeared out of nowhere. Hopefully it's going to destroy itself out of nowhere as well, but that's not ideal. So whilst I'm not over the moon about the fact that oxygen managed to slip on in here we can actually see there is so much vacuum in here that there's not enough gases to po be passed around and you can see look at this it's it's being pushed back where it's all just ever so slightly getting i'm going to say consumed by the vacuum uh, i i don't know as i say whether that is really the case or not or whether it's just splitting down into uh, imperceptible sizes i think that's actually the one that's going on here we still got hundreds of grams around here but i've got a feeling it's all just gonna eat itself on the the on the interface between gas and vacuum here yeah this this is really cool all right i'm gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna see what happens i'm going to take off this overlay here i'm gonna pick this tile we're gonna deconstruct can i reach that one i don't know if i can reach reach that one actually let's cancel that deconstruct let's get this one deconstruct this one at the highest priority curie should now be straight on it for some reason they always prefer follow cam thank you very much to go for the deconstructs over the builds i i think i understand why because if you want to try and build something you need to clear the stuff out of the way first but uh that, yeah it's, it's a little annoying okay and here we go the carbon is indeed spilling out and it looks like it's dropping down looks like it's dropping down incredibly well to 250 and going okay that that's cool this is spreading out but as you can see the, the moment it encounters the vacuum it just gets consumed I'm not sure I like what I've just noticed over here. Uh, Curie, what are you doing? This should be all really low priority. Yeah, ones are everywhere here. Why are you not adding to the... Are we out of obsidian? We are out of obsidian, and these are all obsidian tiles. Okay, I mean, I can change this. This is no problem. I, I wish I'd been given a, a, a notification, though, if I put uh, Obby in here. Obsidian. We still got four tons. Where, where's the rest of my obsidian gone? All right, it doesn't matter. We're going to get rid of it. Uh, let's get rid of those. Or not. Let's get rid of the buildings. There we go. And now I want to take this lot out. And we'll put, not the obsidian, but the igneous rock down in its place. Something like this this there there and then this one goes like that right i think i think that should now be good i'd like it to be a high priority though because of course we, we need to get these things done and ideally before all this gets opened up i'm not sure why it's taking so long let's uh throw some priorities down and see see what we can do here okay yeah, yeah there she goes she's wandering off and the the vacuum is spreading this is this is very good very good indeed Okay, let's try taking some more tiles out, see if this would help. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get Curie on it straight away. Indeed, we can, because we seem to have hundreds of micrograms just caught in this little pocket here. And whilst this little pump down the bottom is doing its best, and of course the vacuum is also consuming, I'd like to be able to boom, get this out of here, let it spread around and thin itself out until there's not much left. If, ideally, not anything left at all. Okay, the holes seem to be doing their job. This one is spreading out and we are losing gas pressure all over. We are down to 23 milligrams of the polluted oxygen, 30 odd, 17 over here. But I've noticed that we've got this little court, this little trapped bubble of gases here. So I'm going to need to try and dig those out before it gets permanently stuck in place. That, that would be a very bad. I wonder whether I can actually push up the priorities of those and try and get Curie to do that really quickly because I'd like these gases to be destroyed. Destroyed. Uh, once they are totally destroyed, I need to seal up all the areas and then we need to put a whole bunch of crude oil in here so we can then start the magma flowing. If we did that without the crude oil, the temperature sensor wouldn't be working because there's no way for it to transfer heat back and forth. Uh, and then we'd throw down a whole bunch of lava. This would get incredibly hot and the moment we put any crude oil in there at all, it would flash straight into sour gas and destroy the wonderful vacuum we've just built. That's, that's what we're trying to avoid is the destruction of vacuums. 
And here we go with the very last drops of gas here trying to uh, spread itself out and become not a problem. 12 micrograms at the top. I've got a feeling that's going to drop down very, very quickly. I wonder whether it will pull any of the gases out of here. I've also noticed that we've got a small problem up top. If I come back out of here, uh, I want to throw down a bottle emptier like that. And we're going to fill this up with petroleum because I've got a whole bunch of petroleum down here that we don't know what to do with. So that's, that's going to go in here. It will also provide a heat seal but I've also noticed that we've got some gases in there and we could fill this with petroleum and there'll still be gases and there'll be problems so I'm, I'm gonna let that uh, be built there this this is a bit of a problem but I'm also asking for this tile to be filled in let's get this tile also filled back in as well uh, and then we start ready starting to be ready to start thinking about throwing a whole bunch let's actually put this close if we close that up we're going to need a ladder to get in and out make sure our dupe can still have access even if we are turning this into a storage tank okay let's let's let that all be done also i need to go check and see if anybody finished off the rest of this they're they're, they're still working out. i had to take it off of um alarm procedures because my duplicates were starving. So uh, th th this is now oh, need of power. That's not the problem. Um, this is now set up and ready to go. If it detects hydrogen, it turns the pump on. The pump then pumps it all the way down, all these gases, filters out to make sure that is actually pure hydrogen, burns that, and everything else gets dumped. All right, beautiful. That's that dealt with. Oh, when, when is this going to get dealt with? Okay, one last thing to do in the saga of the vacuum. There it goes. Beautiful. Spread, spread this out and hopefully the vacuum will just consume it. There's no way that we're going to have a, a never-ending pile of gases here. I was I was expecting it to be less. If I'm to be honest, I was expecting it to be much, much less. But there we go. It is spilt out. How, how is there so much? There's no, like, polluted... Um, polluted dirt in there. No, no, no. It, it it just erupted. It just erupted. But there's no problem. That is no problem. We all know that the vacuum will consume everything. So let, let's just let it do its job. <laughs> Has it taken me something like 100 cycles to pump this area out? It feels like it's taken me something like 100 cycles. Okay, we also need to put this obsidian wall back in place. That obsidian wall back in place. Let's put all of these up to a high enough priority that they actually get worked on. Uh, so that we can start thinking about spilling some magma, pouring some crude oil. This, this guy down here uh, also needs to be quite a high priority. Thank you very much. Not that I know if we can get down there. Wait a minute. We, we need to build more... Uh, more ladders here. I, I see a problem. I see a problem. That's not the end of the world, but it's definitely one that needs work. Interesting how this one is almost disappearing in straight lines. I, I like this. I like this a lot. So that's all the gases that have spread out from here, went through this tile, and now starting to be eaten. Uh, this side, not not quite so uh, not quite so good, mainly because it doesn't have so many directions to be able to see. I pressed the wrong button. 10, 10 milligrams. Uh, so directions that it can spread. Sorry, not see. The gas doesn't see. It spreads. <laughs> Alright, because I'm impatient, I'm popping another hole. We're going to let it spread out another direction as well. Hopefully that will uh, mean that this spread down here brings itself back up pretty quickly. I'm hoping so because I've just filled in this guy down here, so that, that might take a little while to, uh, to back out. Hopefully this is the last cycle of what I'm now calling the vacuum saga. As you can see, it's all starting to build uh, back up quite nicely. Let's put these tiles back into place now so that we can uh, not let all the uh, petroleum uh, spill out. This is good. But the backing up into this area. This, of course, where all this polluted oxygen first came from. That's good. Now we're just waiting for this stuff to drain out. And as you can see, the numbers are fluctuating just a little bit, which means up here maybe we are also losing some gases. I don't no, maybe, maybe I do want to open this one back up. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm not one for waiting around. You guys know this. And, and, and it's been so long already. Okay, there we go. Last one opening up, hopefully. I, I really do hope, even though we are having a fairly constant gas spill there. I'm hoping that will then start draining it down from the top. But more importantly, I hope it's going to start draining this stuff out from in here. Looks like it is working, if just a little bit slowly. 
Oh, look, 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 it's drained down. I don't know if you guys can see. This was all the way at the top here. The green is making its way down the back of the ladder. Now, uh, we just need this vacuum to kind of push down as it has. Blup, I love that. As soon as the vacuum gets a proper hold, it will just, like, sweep its way down. Uh, this is quite dense down the bottom. Seven micrograms. It might take a little while to empty out one microgram at a time. But I've, I, I have faith. I have faith that it will be able to do that. I mean, it's it's hard not to believe in game systems. Like they're pretty much hard coded into existence, you know. And here we go. It's, it's dry. All right, cool. All all the vacuum has been vacuumed. Wow, that that really did take some time. <laughs> Okay, so the whole pumping process definitely took a lot longer than I was expecting, but I think we can finally go around and do things like maybe open up this mine of volcano. Oh no, I'm not sure about that. Well, it doesn't really matter because if we go and have a look, you can see it's dormant at the moment. I don't know when its activation period is. That in fact, let's do that. Let's let's break it open and let's get a scientist in there to go and see when it's going to be up and running again. I think I want to also deconstruct this tile up here. I thought I clicked that button. It didn't seem to register and then grab another one below here just in case just in case that there is a little bit of a spillage of magma uh, we, we, we can have a little bit of a uh, safety system in place there we've got a whole bunch of stuff that really needs to be picked up I don't know when it's ever going to get picked up but I'll, I'll leave it there to be picked up at some point at the moment plank going up there and doing the minor volcano i think the thing that we really need to start thinking about one i've put the power into the oil wells we should really start the crude oil flowing i think i think that might be the case i also appear to have missed a little bit of a power line there okay no big a problem the other thing that i want to do is over here this bottle emptier uh plank can get to it at some point in fact let's get him on it right now curie's on it okay that's good bring some petroleum over mm, wait 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 wait, wait. I, I will get the the petroleum over here i'm gonna go five and then we're gonna say no Okay, the reason that I did that is that we need to fill this in. There's gases in there, and we need to make sure that we are not letting gases through. We're, try we're trying to keep this vacuum seal uh, airtight, would you believe? Okay, that's the last of the tiles in place. Let's try this again. Curie's not going to get on it. That, that's, a, that's a shame. Ah, I know why. Because we've not asked them to sweep it. So now it should be. There we go. Madam Curie is on it. We've spilled a bit of petroleum on the side and on the floor. This should now mean... Mm, we've got a little bit of carbon dioxide in there. I definitely should just build that over like that. Uh, let's make sure it happens as quick as possible. I think lots of people will get on that. I'll just get rid of that little, little bit of gas there and we'll have a perfect little seal set up. And of course, now that I've built all of this, the next thing to do is rip down... Oh, we can't do that from this point of view. Oh, it was doing it from this point of view. Beautiful. Rip down all these extraneous tiles here and hopefully we should now have a perfectly, uh, perfectly airtight seal. Yep, perfect vacuum. Beautiful. Exactly what we want. Okay, speaking of what we want, we don't get magma for another 12 cycles. That is a long time, but I think one that we can deal with. As we do, after all, have to completely fill this little tube up here with crude oil. Uh, if, we, if we can't do that, then we don't have enough liquids to run. I'm not sure whether this data bank is going to get melted. Let's have a look. No, we, we won't melt that data bank with the, uh, with the magma, so that'll be fine. Really nice to get that out beforehand. Is it here that I send them through? Yes, data bank. Let's let's just go. Hey, could people come and get these? Okay, data bank away. We managed to get it out of there nicely. Beautiful. Wait a minute. How are we? There's there's no power. There's no water. There is water now. Well, how how are these pumping with no power though? Anyway, I've started moving the crude oil in. I didn't realise I had started moving the crude oil in, but I've started moving the crude oil in. This is fine. I'm gonna get this thermo sensor. We're gonna say, hey, as long as you are below, we're gonna start with 300 and just leave that there like that. Uh, ooh, maybe above then. Keep that door closed. Mm, okay, this is the, the wrong way around to what I was expecting, but that's fine. I can work with this. It does what I expect if I just flip the uh, flip the sign. I don't know what's wrong with Sw Swan Leather. She, she's got food available to her. She can get up towards it. Uh, she just keeps on throwing a whole bunch of issues my way, despite the fact that all her issues are solvable. 
I've just realized why we're waiting for the volcano to not be dormant. We're going to actually have to have some sort of control mechanism on these oil wells uh, because we've got people going in and out and grabbing materials and packing it away. I, I can't just let this flood up and over. So I've put a hydro sensor down. When it detects any liquids or whatsoever, it's going to turn all of the oil wells off. That's one level no. <laughs> I just hope in the 10 cycles it takes for the volcano to become active again, we manage to clear out all of these materials, build that wall back up, and then also try and get these materials out of here. I'm not sure how my duplicates are going to do that, but I'd like to see it. We're going to go back to the, the hole in the wall method. I'm sure someone will come along and take care of this. Okay, 7 of 10 cycles in and we have managed to clear all of the debris that I care about from this area. But we've also reached the point where uh, I, the black pressure is getting dangerously high to letting out its gases. So I've got to make sure we can seal this entire area back up tight again before we start letting the gas out. It's okay with the gas being in here, but if it gets through to uh, like either the petroleum here or the crude oil I uh, think things could go very wrong very quickly okay we're gonna try out this complicated uh, automation system that I've got here for this door uh, I don't mind this door being open the majority of the time hello plank is scolding why are you sc how did you get in here with just a breathing mark what <laughs> I'm not sure how that worked out there, to be honest. He, he's gone and left it on the floor. I assume it's actually from up here. No, where have you got this extra breathing mask from? Well, the, the mysteries, mysteries. There's not the mystery. That, that's kind of derailed me a little bit. Uh, we're we're going to leave this door open as long as there's not too much liquid on either side and there's no atmosphere to speak of. And uh, the way that I'm going to test this is by pulling this down to 70% as they all should be really uh, and someone can come along and let some gases out. Now I am a little bit scared. I, I mean, do we even want to have this open? Uh, but we're, we're going to see what happens. Will this let the gas through the door? Ah, oh, yes it will. That is horrific. Okay, so we're not going to even bother doing that. I'm going to go back to the morning and we're going to seal that in as a solid door. Uh, a solid wall. I wasn't sure if we could trust it and now I have found out. So what I'm actually going to do is destroy all of this. <laughs> And this door. Be, be gone with all of you. Ah, oh, my, my sweeping though. <laughs> okay, if I do need to break in, I know I can get in through here or through the top. Everywhere else should be nice and sealed up. Let's try this again, but this time with, uh, with, with it all sealed off here. This should all just release the gases. Oh, wait, bring these back down. I'm going to go with 50 just so it happens a little bit quicker. Uh, a little more often, if you will. Bring that down to the 50. Beautiful. Ah, uh, it's end of day already? How? how? Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, Franklin's coming in to pop the pressure on these. The, the gas pumps immediately fire up. How much have we got now that it's spread out? Uh, MGs, okay, that's cool. She should be going along to release the pressure on all of them. I don't know how much is actually stored up. Uh, it tells us down the bottom. Okay, we got 80 kilograms per... Uh, per oil well. How long is it going to take these pumps to remove that gas? I don't know. It, it, it could be forever, though. Look at the gradient, though. The little, big... Big blobs there, smaller blobs here, and the smallest blobs from the bottom. And we're managing to completely fill the fill the line up and powering down there. That that's cool. That's cool. Once again, the waistline does take uh, take priority in this system. That's why I've got this weird little uh, path of tubes over here. Uh, but it's still looking like it's backing up, which would be a problem. Okay, here comes some more gas. We're up into actual grams now. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Oh man, sometimes I hate this game. This volcano. Yeah, I'm done with my dormancy. I'm still going to take two cycles to erupt though. I suppose that's fine because I'm a little bit worried about this blob of igneous rock just here. Uh, the reason that that piece in particular is bothering me uh, is because the, when lava cools down, uh, it becomes igneous rock. And if the lava touches this igneous rock, 
and cools down a little bit, it will stack with the, this igneous rock, keeping its temperature the same, like losing all of the, 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 the temperature that went into it. Uh, but it's all right. Now the planks come along, got rid of that. We're, we're, we're good. Uh, I'm going to wait for everything to get removed and then seal this back in. Still, ugh, I mean, we're, we're there in 1.7 cycles. Hmm... The next problem to overcome is meat in the boiler. Uh, that's going to decompose into polluted dirt at some point and then outgas a whole bunch of horrible, horrible polluted oxygen. So if we could get in there and get rid of that, that would also be pretty good, you know? An hour into the episode, five hours into actually recording, we are a minute away from this volcano dropping its guts onto this little heating platform down here, where we need to make sure that the crude oil reaches a temperature of 400 degrees but doesn't reach a temperature of 538 degrees. Should be relatively simple to undertake. I'm also asking for a whole bunch of piping to be put in because, of course, we're going to want to move all of the petroleum back up to this petroleum area. We've got a little storage point up there, so that would be great if we we could uh, throw it in a whole bunch of insulated pipes here. Uh, we, we had a line running down this way that was originally for moving liquids to uh, to reverse Lynn, but we, we don't we don't need that anymore, so I've decided that I'm going to repurpose it over this way. This one's also, uh, this liquid bridge also being taken down, that's good because we want to turn it around and we want to send all the liquids back up that way. Same happening right there. Okay, beautiful. How, how is this eruption going? How are we talking here? Five seconds to go. I'm just going to kind of speed this up a little bit what i'm actually expecting is for this to be hugely disappointing and maybe some of it sl uh, slide over the edge i'm a little bit worried about these corners here so let let's see if we got any temperature build up looks like not we melted a ladder okay that's that's great that's not at all what i wanted but that, that's fun it's fun uh okay so we can live with that is this temperature going up no no the temperature is not the weight is okay more more ladders being melted it's really not what i wanted but we, we will live with this igneous rock i just i went in there to get rid of all that igneous rock let's watch the f3 as you can see the temperature is being passed over we got 300 degrees here 140 degrees over this side this is going to say hey if we get up to 300 please stop stop but of course the temperature in the tiles is much much higher than the temperature that is going on here so i'm going to press 100 for now Let, let's stop and wait because look the, these are up to 300 degrees i don't understand why we've not pulling out more temperature from there for now it is a diamond tile so it should be uh, should be there. Okay, so we're, ju we're just going to sit and wait. We're just going to wait for this to to even out. Uh, I don't. This is this is going very high, and I'm very worried about it. Uh, can we can we bring this up to a hundred? Okay, so let, let let's go for ninety five for now. Let let's stop and wait. I want I want to let all these temperatures sort of just even out. Yeah, there we go. I I put too much in there. Too too much in there. Uh, and it's still climbing. It's still climbing. Oh, now now we're dropping again. Okay, let's go 150 and see what happens here. I'm very scared. This this is far too high a temperature right here. I am absolutely terrified. Uh, if if this cuts up to too high a temperature, you know what else I'm terrified about? The fact that I've not filled this in. All right, let's 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 get that filled in, and that will be fine. Uh, I'm mostly terrified about the fact that this could go over. Uh, 400 degrees and cause me some troubles. This is a 500 degree window tile. We've got a 1500 degree magma. It's dropping in temperature the whole time though. This one as well. I mean, I'm surprised this ladder, uh, obsidian ladder, hasn't melted. Uh, it, it's because it's made of obsidian. Let's have a look. The uh, the, the melting point here, 2.7 thousand degrees and the, uh, the magma is only at 1.5. Mm, I've just realized this robo miner is not going to want to be set to just go. If it just goes, there's going to be some problems. I wonder if there's a way of getting a steel... I bet I, bet I can do it in there. I bet I, uh, this, this feels wrong, but I'm going to put a thermo sensor made of steel right in there. Hopefully, Curie can come along and make it. And then we go uh, a little bit of automation wire, also made of steel, thank you. Come out there, and then I'll use the tungsten one to go down and into that. Okay, hopefully that should work out well for us, I hope. Ah, uh, see, and this is what I was trying to stop. Okay, we, we, we got problems. We have some problems already. Let's put this storage bin down here. Uh, let's do this because I'd rather that these... Ah, uh, didn't... 
Oh, look, it's instantly melting. It's uh, not instantly melting, instantly solidifying. That's not what I want. I want this to uh, to have a temperature sensor on board. Hopefully, here comes Curie. Right, great. Look, please, just come, just come and put one of these in place. Just, just one of these in place, and I'll, I'll be happy. Apart from we got the wrong one. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, until the petroleum starts getting made, I'm going to shut off the, uh, the the little flow of of crude oil here. I've asked the hydro sensor to stop, and now we just got to wait for everything to stop dripping over and through. I mean, it's 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 fine. 90 degree crude oil being dropped in will be no problem. The fact that this is still are we still dropping in temperature or going up in temperature? I don't know. We've got 300 degrees in the window tile, so we're kind of hoping we would climb in temperature. Got to get that thermo sensor in place though. It doesn't look like Curie wants to do so, so I've asked her to take this tile out. I'm sure there's no no way that's going to go wrong. Uh, and now, hopefully, this should be a fairly high priority. Going to get the steel, are you? Okay, fair enough. Okay, and now with that in place... Oh, stop, stop. If uh, below... Let, let's think. What temperature do we want it to be below? If below 300 degrees, then dig. All right, while we're thinking about this, let's put all the igneous rock in this box. Well, I guess until the volcano erupts again, I'm just going to be tidying up all of this debris around here, trying to make this place nice and presentable. Oh, that was quite the wait. Another hour down IRL, but here we go. A minor volcano is erupting again in 0.9 cycles. 0.9 cycles. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's have some more of that magma coming out of here. Right, we are waiting once again for it to try and get hot enough. Dip. Look at that. The thermo sensor has done its job. It is well over 300 degrees. So this robo miner has been shut down. Let's look at that signal go through. All right, great. Now we're worried about this signal. 700 degrees being passed through. Watching this thermo sensor. I'm going to actually put this up to 200. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe 300, may, may, maybe higher. We do need to get this crude oil up to temperature it's the last thing i want to do in this episode it literally will bubble up some some petrol i will i will turn on this hydro sensor to start taking the uh the, the heat out of it with the crude oil uh but we've we've just got to wait for this to get up hot enough and it's, it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a long while Okay, we've got our bottom little block turning into igneous rock here. I'm a little bit worried that actually we're going to have a problem if I let this spread up. Oh, let's let's stop and let's think. Because if this then goes up to here, we're not going to let any magma come back down. I'm really worried that that's going to drop down below required temperature. I don't know. I don't know. Now Now that we're here, now that we're here, this ladder is sure doing the work holding the temperature up high enough. What temperature do we need to be at before the magma chills? Let's have a look over here. 1410. You know, I think whatever the temperature is at now will be the temperature that we set this to. So let's say 1200 and hopefully that will work out for us 1200 yeah there we go 1200 this this should be fine hopefully when that gets broken this one gets broken the uh oh wait this is not on sweep only why ah because it's full hmm small problems yeah and it's gonna do that again okay that's it's actually a problem, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. We seem to be cycling through the, the magma well anyway, what, whatever is going on. Could really do with a second volcano, it turns out. Who knew? Another 13 cycles for this even to get up to temperature. Okay, we're at 200 degrees. That's the 300 degrees. Let's keep keep it going, keep it going. This is not, this is not the temperature we're supposed to settle at. Okay, this looks like that may have been it. Okay. Well, we have exhausted all the lava and we're not up to temperature, but looking at the length of this video, I am going to have to say with that, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you another guys next time where th this, w I mean, it, it, it's working. It's just taking so long. We got up from 140 up to 212 on that one cycle there. So hopefully we'll be seeing this turn into petroleum next time, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. But even this place is flowing with lava.